Hello and welcome to Coffee Chats. I'm Morgan and I'm Sarah and this is the Seven Deadly Sins book tag. Question one, greed. What is your most inexpensive book and what is your most expensive book? For the least expensive, I went with The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. For me, this was actually free because I stole it from my mother um, because she read it in like college or something and just still had the copy. But even the price is tons cheaper than a book would be today. It cost $165 back in the 70s, 80s, whenever she was in school. I went with The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams because I got this on Thrift Books and it was on sale. So it was like $2, which is delightful. And for the most expensive, I am going with And the Mountains Echoed by Khaled Hosseini. First of all, this is an adult book and just as a general trend, they're a little bit more expensive than YA books. And I also bought this right when it came out, so it was at its most pricey. And I paid the $28.95 that it cost originally, which is pretty expensive. Um, but it was actually a gift to my mom and just just like the general trend that we're continuing, I kind of stole it back <laughs> once she had read it. Great dog room, Morgan. <laughs> I don't have my most expensive book with me, um, but it's probably Greek Gods by Rick Riordan, and it was about $18 at Target, but it was signed, so I couldn't resist. I don't own any signed books, so now I have three. Oh my that's, god. That's cool. One I found at like a used bookstore and it's a book I'd never heard of before, but I was like, signed. it's signed. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I have The Ring of Solomon signed because I went to mm. meet Jonathan Stroud. Yeah, that's really cool. Question two is Wrath, which authors you have a love-hate relationship with? For this, I am going to give you a rant that I, I give a lot. It, it, yeah, it's worked its way into my life a lot. Veronica Roth, because she gave us Divergent, which was just such a good, awesome book, such an awesome concept. And then Insurgent was eh. I was like, it's okay, the third book's gonna redeem it. Allegiant, it was awful. It was a complete letdown to me. So with her, like Divergent, I gotta give her credit. Allegiant broke my heart. It's a definite love-hate, up and down type relationship. I'm going with James Patterson because I haven't read all of his books, but I read the adult version of Maximum Ride, which those two books were really good. And then the first couple like YA Maximum Ride books were pretty decent. And then the rest of the series was terrible. And I started Witch and Wizards and that was, that was so bad. I didn't finish it. Yeah, I made it through that book and it didn't get better. <laughs> so he has some good books and some books that are really, really, really terrible. Question three, Gluttony. Which book have you devoured over and over again? My book will come as no surprise. Before filming this, I even asked Sarah, like, how many times do you think it's acceptable to talk about the Infernal Devices? We couldn't come up with a conclusive number, so I'm gonna talk about it again. <laughs> I love the Infernal Devices so much. Oh my God, I could read this series just on repeat for my whole life, but you kind of do. <laughs> True, I, I break it up with some other books though. <laughs> but that is, that is my reading habit. Um, oh, I love it. I want to have book babies with it. <laughs> Mine is the Alana series. I've read that at least five times. Um, but in the I haven't read it. In the fence, I started reading times. it in like late elementary school, early middle school. I don't really remember. It's something that I read when like I'm having like a bad week or something. I'm like, oh, I want to reread that. And yeah. <laughs> Question four is Sloth. Which book have you neglected to read out of laziness? For this, I went with Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver because I'm kind of ashamed of how long I've had this book and neglected to read it. I think I bought it junior year of high school and we're freshmen in college now. And I don't know, I think I started it once too and just got distracted by better things. Like the beginning didn't pull me in, so it's kind of fallen by the wayside. I clearly brought it to college with the intent of reading it though at some point, but we're four months into college, still haven't read it. I actually have read this, but it's probably the longest I've ever waited to read a book. I got this my sophomore year really early on as a birthday present and I didn't read it until like a month ago. So 
sorry to the person who gave it to me. But you got around to it and that's, that's yeah. the important part. It happened. That still hasn't happened. <laughs> Question five is pride. What book do you talk about most to sound like a very intellectual reader? For me, I'm going to say the Aeneid because not only have I read the entirety of the Aeneid, I spent my entire senior year translating the Latin of the Aeneid. So I know it backwards and forwards in Latin and English. And I could tell you about some Virgil and about some Aeneas, believe me. And I picked A Tale of Two Cities because it's one of the school books that I don't think everyone reads that I actually read all the way through and then just look up the summaries on Sparknotes. And I actually really enjoyed it, so. Yeah, I love that book. It's my favorite classic. Question six is lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in a male or female character? Will Herondale. That's it. Just Will Herondale. For me, I kind of look for someone who is nerdy and funny like I would like in real life, but also can kick butt when they need to in like fighting scenes or whatever. I don't want them just to be like, I'm gonna make a funny joke. I also want them to be able to kill people. Also, there's definitely a certain place for like dark and mysterious, like, you can't true. Find that there's something, something about dark and mysterious. This is the last question, question seven, Envy. What book would you most like to receive as a gift? And I think both of our answers are pretty similar for this one. And we both cheated and it's not a single book. I want the new box set of the Harry Potter books where they make Hogwarts when they're all put together on the spines. And I think I might be getting it for Christmas. I've already kind of hinted to my parents that I want my own copies of Harry Potter. So yeah. And then I want the new set of Percy Jackson books because they're so pretty and I don't actually own them all. I think I just have the first one, maybe the second. You have the fifth. Do I have the fifth? Yes. <laughs> Apparently I have all but the fifth <laughs> Still need the box set though. Yes, they're so pretty. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Coffee Chats. If you want to find us some more places on the internet, internet. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to find us some more places on the internet, we'll have some links in the down bar to our Goodreads and other fun things. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye! Smile and wave, boys. Smile, Smile and wave. wave. <laughs>